Hey y'all, welcome to 8-Bit Instruction. This is that point where we talk about the small building blocks of discipleship, of uh, what it means to follow the gospel with your life. And we're primarily focused on that using Deuteronomy 6, 4 through 7, which the first part of that states, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your might. So, in our efforts to understand what loving the Lord our God with all of our heart, our soul, and our might is, and what that looks like, um, we've talked about following him by reading his word and spending time with him and digging into um, his word, taking the time to listen, to hear what he's saying. In that same vein, as part of actively aligning our bodies with our minds and our souls to, to love him with all of us, all of who we are. We've already talked about how interconnected we are. I'm going to talk about fasting today because uh, if you're part of our church if, and listening to this, uh, Cross Culture Church is in the process of seeking a senior pastor. We're in the process of seeking the Lord's will and uh, direction for our church. Uh, what's our next step? What are we to do? Um, not only that, but we're also in a time that many of us have never experienced before. Um, this is a global pandemic, and all of our actions are having to shift based on our circumstance. And there's so many opportunities where we're probably asking, Lord, what are we to do? What's the next step? What's going on? Um, so seeking in that way. Um, fasting is also not just for seeking the Lord's will, um, but it is for um, reflecting on who he is and putting aside our distractions to attend to him more. It's also even used for praise. In Acts 13, they were, uh, the, the disciples were all praising, praying, and fasting. And it's in that time when they were just doing it because they just loved God and they wanted to show him how much they loved him and they wanted to, to praise him with all of all that they, they were. And all of who they were and, and all of even their, their efforts and their feelings, um, they were praising, praying, and fasting, and the Holy Spirit came and, and just dropped a message on them and saying, hey, Barnabas and Silas, bless them and send them out because I want them to do my will. And they're like, cool. So they finished their praising, their praying, and their fasting. They laid their hands on Barnabas and Silas, and they sent them off to do what? They weren't quite sure, but the Holy Spirit led them. And, and he just, he answered prayer and praise and honors uh, when his people uh, devote all of themselves to him. So uh, the elders of Cross Culture Church have um, stated that we're going to have a corporate fast. This week is, our, is a corporate fast. And um, so they didn't define how long of a fast. They didn't define what kind of fast to do. Um, so I'm going to talk through a couple different ones. And we've talked about fasting in our uh, youth group before, but we haven't ever done it together. We haven't ever done this as a church, to my knowledge. Um, so I'm challenging you to fast this week. And here are a couple different ways to do so. Um, fasting is generally fasting from food. Um, in these most recent days, fasting from other things like social media, fasting from um, certain kinds of beverages like coffee, or um, fasting from um, a certain action, or fasting from habits that you rely on that are part of your daily rhythm, rhythm that, um, that are integral to who you are, setting those things aside and saying, uh, when I am prompted, when I feel like I need to do this thing, then I will pray or I will praise. And, and that will be a, a response of longing for God. I and mean, he says, I'm the bread of life. I am the living water. Uh, so 
it's setting our desires and our hopes on him. Um, some people will fast from just a single meal. So say you um, aren't going to have lunch, then you'll have breakfast and you'll have dinner. There's also a, a fast of during this, while the sun is up, you won't eat or drink anything, but when the sun sets, then you can eat and drink just as normal. Um, there's a, uh, I can drink any kind of fluid, but I'm just not eating food. Um, that's a kind of fast. Um, then there's a, I will only drink water and not drink, not have any food. There's a, I won't have any food or any water. There's a, a complete 100% fast. Um, so decide which one you'd like to do, which one makes sense, which one would be even a little difficult, which one is going to be a sacrifice, and uh, then define the time. So um, Jesus says that when we fast, we should not, um, we should not bemoan or walk around in, in our sackcloth and ashes and say, oh my gosh, everybody, I'm fasting. Life is so difficult for me because, and just know that I can't participate in things because I am fasting and I am religious, right? That's not the point. The point is to humble ourselves before God, but it's going to need to be difficult in order to do it. And what we're doing in 8-bit instruction is going to be difficult. Now, we need to train hard and we need to, uh, like, set our bodies and our minds and our souls um, in alignment when we say we're going to follow Christ with all of our heart and all of our soul and all of our mind and love him with all of us. Um, there are ways that we can demonstrate that. So um, here is that challenge and that call is in this week. Um, for me, I'm fasting until Wednesday, um, not eating food at all. Um, I'm only drinking water. So if you would like to join me in that, there's this challenge <laughs> to go until Wednesday. Um, we're going to publish this this evening for that purpose. If later on in the week you need a little bit more time to plan for this, then, um, then do that. Um, if you just need to do one meal. Uh, if you've never fasted before, I do recommend not going until Wednesday. It's, it's very difficult. And there, what's going to come up in you is a lot of things that you're not expecting. There's, you're going to get angry. You're going to get frustrated. You're going to feel super weak and that you can't accomplish the things that you need to do. Um, and in all of these, you need to remember that you still have to do what you're called to do. You can't just be like, oh, I'm fasting. I'm, not, I'm just going to lay on the couch for the rest of my life until my fast is ended. It's like, no, be faithful in what God has called you to do. And in all of these times, you pray and reflect on why you have started the fast. So if you've started the fast to praise God, wonderful, praise Him. If you've started the fast like we are called to fast right now by our church, for guidance and wisdom on what are the Lord's next steps for our church and for us as believers and even for our youth ministry in the days going forward. Um, that's why we're calling this corporate fast together. And that's why I shared what I am doing so that if you need a model, I'm telling you what I'm doing. Uh, if you want to decide for yourself sometime this week, then I still give you that prerogative, and I trust you with that. Um, and this needs to be something between you and the Lord. Um, but I am going to challenge you to take this to heart and fast and go to God and seek him because we need his wisdom in this situation. We don't want to act on just our own wisdom and our own intuition and our own decisions. We want to love him with all of our heart and our soul and our mind. And in an effort to do that, we're going to fast. So, um, I am looking forward to hearing what you hear on the other side of this, on, um, on the other side of this fast. So, at the end of the week, I'm going to reach out, but I definitely want you to reach out as well to say, this is what I've heard from the Lord this week. Um, we're doing this together for this reason. So as a practice of faith and of fasting, 
let's fast. Um, that's the time. That's the challenge. That's the instruction. Thank you for listening. And I look forward to hearing how God works and what he does in this time. Mm-hmm.